I know y'all gonna be like, what is good? Good, good to move. <laughs> what's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to a inspirational episode of I Ain't Saying. I'm just saying with the raw women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all put that thing on up. Oh, man. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me and sharing is caring. And dad gummit, sharing the video help help a brother grow. I ain't, I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Uh. Got the Twinkie flavor this morning. Oh man, yeah. So you see the title in the video. You cherish things differently. Dot dot dot. That's the title in the video, and I actually pulled that from a quote from Chadwick Boseman. You have to cherish things different in a different way. You have to cherish things in a different way when you know the clock is ticking. You are under pressure. You have to cherish things in a different way when you know the clock is ticking, you are under pressure. I have been called different for as long as I can remember. That might be because I've had an appreciation for our mortality, mine at least, since my mother died when I was 13. from tubular pregnancy a month before my 14th birthday. That means I lost my mother and a sibling in one day. You will cherish things differently when you know the clock is ticking. You look at things differently when you know tomorrow is not promised. See, there's a difference between saying tomorrow isn't promised and knowing tomorrow isn't promised. I've lost way too many people out of order. Let me say that one more time. I've lost way too many people out of order. My father was never in my life. My mother died when I was 13. My grandfather passed when I was in my mid-20s. My best friend passed when I was in my late 20s. My grandmother passed when I was in my early 30s and my aunt passed when I was in my mid 30s. Everybody died out of order. You gain a healthy appreciation of time when you see it unexpectedly expire on those close to you. You view time differently. You look at it differently. Because every day you know the next day could be your last day. Regardless of what your age is. You move differently. You speak to people differently. Because you understand that every second is precious. You can't get it back. You have to cherish things in a different way. When you know the clock is ticking, you are under pressure. Y'all saw the previous video, Mr. Ray Smith, 59. I told y'all he was like a father figure to me. He is. That's, he is the, I consider him an elder. 
I go to him for counsel. Grand Madam Tarot is an elder. I go to her for counsel. You don't want to see those people go. But when you know you 54 and you know they're your elders, you're just glad to be able to talk to them. Because you know tomorrow isn't promised. You know time is ticking. And you know once that clock hits zero, there is no more time. By the way, this is a recast to Chala on a Chadwick Boseman video. <laughs> because we have been asking people like my mother to wait. Kevin Feige knows that. See, this is why I don't give people a pass. See, this is why I stand on the ground of integrity. See, Kevin Feige knows that people like Mr. Ray Smith, Grand Madam Tarot, have had to wait. He knows it. Why he walks around with his baseball cap on and his sport jacket, trying to look all cool and everything like that. If he has been living in the continental United States of America, he know damn good and well how long we've been waiting on T'Challa. He knows damn good and well what it means. It might not mean a damn thing to him, but he knows damn good and well what T'Challa means to a whole race of people. No different than Nate Moore and Ryan Coogler. Damn it, if Ryan say he picked up a comic book, he know damn good and well what T'Challa means to a race of people. Nate Moore, thank you for bringing T'Challa to the big screen. But if you gonna be an Indian giver, my brother, you could have kept that to your damn self. Because you know what I know. How long have black people been waiting? How long? While we watch characters get recast time after time after time. Regardless of what the actor did or didn't do. And we watched, we waited, we clapped, we applauded. When the actor passed away, unexpectedly, we shed tears no differently than the people that looked like the actor. No differently than the people that looked like the character that did not look like us, than the actor that did not look like us. And now you expect us to bow down? Be patient. For what? We've been patient since 1966. We've compromised since 1966. We've negotiated since 1966. We begged. We pleaded. We've asked. Since 1966. To the recast the child movement, to the rock with me nation, I say not another goddamn day. I'm sorry. See it? He right. He, being Chadwick Bozeman, is absolutely damn right. You have to cherish things in a different way when you know the clock is ticking. You are under pressure. We are under damn pressure. And the pressure should be, we have a right to this character like everybody else has been given, granted rights to other characters. I will not negotiate. I won't, I won't negotiate. I, won't I will burn the whole goddamn house down and will not care. Because if you don't care enough about me and mine, I'd be good and goddamn because I believe in equal energy. I believe in rocking with those that rock with me. That way, 
You never alone. Look at the name. Wolfpack. All things being equal. Knowing what I know. Knowing that you know what I know. And that's the significance of T'Challa to a group of people. If you don't give two dams, I don't either. If you're going to say to hell with T'Challa, I'm going to say to hell with you. And if you've been saying to hell with T'Challa since August 2020, then Marvel, you got to know I'm saying to hell with you since August 2020. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Nate, you said no more T'Challa's in the 1999-99 universe. I'm going to hold you as a man to your goddamn word. So I'm not going to be looking for no T'Challa nowhere else. You said no T'Challa, I'm going to treat you just like you said there's no T'Challa. Not like you said there might be, there could be. I'm going to treat you and everybody at that goddamn project like you said there will be no more T'Challa. That means we on opposite sides of the fence. And when you on the opposite side of the fence, I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Recast to Chala. Honor Chadwick Boseman. Respect that man's quote. Respect the culture. Respect the character. Respect your people. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.